And so on this day that we hear this gospel from Mark early on, chapter 3, Jesus calling these first few and pretty soon trusting them, which is pretty remarkable when you think about it. He is putting his trust in these fellows that he really kind of just met. He sized them up and said, go in my name. I trust you. In my name, preach. In my name, heal. And it's a really is a remarkable thing. What does it mean to be an apostle? Well, technically, the difference between disciple and apostle is disciple is one who follows after. Like the word discipline means to follow through with something that we say we're going to do. An apostle is one who is sent out, as I just said, sent out in the name of an other. When I give missions around the country, I had a basic mission. I preach for three nights. And my, the summation of my talks was called Journey with the Holy Spirit. And I always started the first night with saying, the journey with the Holy Spirit begins with listening. If we're going to walk with God, we have to first learn to listen. And that's no easy task in our culture today. There's a reason we have talk shows on radios and television. They're not called listening shows, are they? We're all about the talking and sharing our own opinions. And we are a visual people. Never before in the history of humankind have we been so visually oriented. Human beings always listened. Our ancestors of the faith, that's how they learned the Psalms. They sung everything. They listened and knew in their hearts what God was saying to them. But in our day again, it's very visual. And that's a new development in human history, to be so visually oriented. So we have to work at this, each one of us. And to do this, we obviously need God's grace. We need God's help. Because to become good listeners on our own is very difficult to do. Very difficult. We hear that reading from Hebrews, as I read it, it really struck me about knowing the Lord. No one's going to teach that, he says, in the, 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 the new covenant, because all will know the Lord from the least to the greatest. And today we honor the least in praying for, on this anniversary time of uh, the Supreme Court decision way back in 1973, Roe versus Wade, we remember today to pray for the legal uh, protection of the most uh, vulnerable human beings we have, the unborn. We pray for them. We pray for the women who carry uh, unborn children and all their great difficulties in some cases, in many, many very difficult moments, uh, we pray for them. We pray for all of us as a culture to really listen to that our God of love, and how God loves each one of us very much, including the very, very small ones.